What if we lived in a world where everyone's needs and desires harmoniously aligned? While it may sound like a utopian dream, it's not entirely out of reach. The key lies in the concept of coexistence and peace, a delicate yet achievable balance between different cultures, races, religions, and nations. Consider the case of the European Union, a consortium of 27 nations with myriad cultures, languages, and political systems. Despite the differences, they have found a way to coexist, promoting peace, stability, and economic prosperity. They share a common market, follow a unified set of regulations, and even have a single currency. It's a testament to the fact that coexistence is not just possible, but it can also be beneficial. But coexistence doesn't only apply to nations. It's also about individuals learning to live together despite their differences. Take for example the city of Toronto in Canada, one of the most multicultural cities in the world. People from all walks of life call Toronto home, and they've found a way to live together in harmony. This is possible because of the city's commitment to promoting diversity and inclusion, ensuring that everyone, regardless of their background, feels valued and respected. Coexistence is also about finding a balance with nature. The indigenous communities worldwide have shown us how humans can live in harmony with the environment. They have a deep respect for nature and understand that they are part of a larger ecosystem. Their traditional knowledge and practices provide valuable lessons on sustainable living. All these examples serve as a reminder that coexistence is not just possible, but it can also lead to a more peaceful and prosperous world. But it's not something that happens overnight. It requires patience, understanding, and a willingness to learn from and respect others. In summary, coexistence and peace are achievable goals. The European Union shows us that nations with different cultures and political systems can work together for the common good. The City of Toronto provides a shining example of how multiculturalism can lead to a vibrant and inclusive community. And the indigenous communities worldwide remind us that coexistence also means living in harmony with nature. So, next time you find yourself in a situation where differences seem insurmountable, remember these examples. They prove that with patience, understanding and respect for others, coexistence is not just a dream, but a very achievable reality. As the world continues to become more interconnected, the importance of coexistence and peace becomes even more paramount. It's a challenging task, but not an impossible one, and it's a task that requires the efforts of each and every one of us. So, in the end, coexistence is not just about living together in peace, it's about working together for a better, more peaceful world.